okay welcome back now this is also um this is another i mean this is a mechanism involving the slider this is a slider output mechanism okay so for slider output and um, there is something interesting here um, let's look at something here you see for slider output it differs from this the rocker output you see the link 2 link 3 link 4 right um link 4 meets link 1 at this point which is 1 comma 4 but in the case of the slider we don't have that the link 4 is a slider block okay so it's like it slides on link one right so the joint one comma four is at infinity how do we say that? why do you say that so i look so suppose uh, the link here the link four is rotating then it's only when the radius is at infinity that a small rotation will be seen as a what a straight line okay with that so we're looking at the situation where Length four is rotating. Is rotating relative towards length one, but the instance where the radius is very long, such that the rotation is seen as a what a straight line. So in that case, I'm going to say that the joint one four for the slider block, which is this one, is very far away. So we say that as what infinity. Okay, so let's go over here. We have a joint between link two and link one, so we make that. Let me use a pencil. So one comma two. This is between link two and three, so two comma what three, and then this one is between the link three and link four, so four comma three, and then we say that um, the joint one four is at what infinity, so one four at infinity. Now, once again, let me show you something. So you realize that if if this the slider block is rotating about the length one four, which is infinity, because it's very long, so we are seeing this as uh, this one uh, straight line. Then we are saying that the radius of rotation is going to be perpendicular towards the path, the tangential path, isn't it? Now the radius of rotation is at infinity. So what I'm saying is that the point one four is going to be along this path. Okay, that means the joint one four is along the path that is sort of perpendicular to the path of sliding, right? So if I have this slider block, then I'm going to have one four along a path perpendicular towards the sliding velocity. So the difference that I'll show you ahead of when you get there. Right? Okay, so yeah. Um, what do we do? We first have to find the number of insert centers we expect, and that is what um, C uh, combination four, uh, four combination two. Sorry, so you have four, four minus one, all on one, two, and that will be equal to six. Okay, so we use our track system, you draw the track, the circle, then label it one, two, three, four. Now we know the joints one two so we join one to two we know the joint two three so we join two to three we know the joint three four so we join three to four and we know the joint what one four what is at infinity don't forget that okay first we will be looking for the instance and uh, the instance at the one three so that is the one that was invisible so we are, ha we are having what, two triangles, one on my right, one on my left. And as I said earlier in the video, the uh, joint one, two, two, four, and then one, four, give me one line. Joint one, four, three, four, one, three, also give me what? Another line, and they, they will meet at a common point, one, three. Now, I have one, two, two, three. So this is one, two, two, three. I'll join them. I'll join them like that. And then joint one four three four. So this is a, a, a slider joint, right? 
So the slider joint is perpendicular to this path. Now the slider joint and then this joint, this regular joint or the known joint are, are on the same line. So what you do is that you go to this joint, three, four, and draw a line parallel to uh, the one force red line. The radius is so earlier as I said that the one four is along a line perpendicular to the path. So if I want joints, let's say the line between one three four and one four, I'll just go to point three four and draw a line that is along the same direction. So if three four suppose let's say I have this block here and three four is here, right? Three four is here. Then I'll come to three four point three four and draw a line which is along the same direction as the radius. So here I'll come to three four and draw a line which, which is perpendicular to the path. So this is horizontal. So I just need a particular line through three four. So when I come here, I'll just draw a line like this. Right. So this is the joint towards the line one four three four. So you just have to tell them that one four is at what infinity. So this is a line between the line joining three four and one four. So where the two lines meet, you will label it as what one comma three. Now you find one three, so you will join it. Then you will look for two four. So you will join the first, you know, you use your shown that she's one triangle, another triangle here. So here the first the top triangle you have one four, one, two, two, four. So one four is at infinity, one, two, you know. So you go to one, two and draw a line that is along the uh, path the, of the radius of what? One four. So we said it's vertical. So we will go to one, two and draw a vertical line. Right? So we come to one, two and draw a vertical line. So you need to make sure you have a, a vertical line. Now before you do that, you need a horizontal line. So suppose this point is not clear. Maybe you can use this technique. This technique to draw a horizontal line through draw a horizontal line through one two right in some of the questions you have something like this in there so this one i'm giving the horizontal line right so you don't need to worry so in my case where i don't have a i have a horizontal line now so i will put my straight edge on it and make sure so one line aligns with it and then yeah or if you want vertical you can also do it like this you make the straight edge aligns and then you can uh, do the vertical line then maybe you extend it okay so this is the line one four one two okay the line joining one four and one two is a pass here now you look for the line two three three four this is three four or four three and two three so we join them If you join them, we have four two here. So you would close this because you found. It. So now we've seen you found oh, one is connected to two, connected to three, connected to four, two is connected to one, connected to three, connected to four, three is connected to this. So every link is connected to each other. So now you've been able to identify the six in some centers. So once again, you may be the same uh, similar to the previous one we they can say that okay um suppose suppose uh, omega 2 is 5 rad per second anti clockwise and uh, r2 radius of link 2 is 200 mm find the sliding velocity of link 4 okay so the sliding velocity of link for now with the instant center you already you see that we are looking for the point where there is rotation so if i know the link the point link 3 is rotating about then i can find the velocity at any point on the link so knowing the linear velocity at this point 
or the translational velocity at this point that will be the same as the, the translational velocity of wave length 4. so i just need the angular velocity of length 3 and multiply the radius from that center be it this one or this one so the radius of that, that center to this one so let's do that now um, we measure we measure this this is three centimeters so we said 3 cm is equivalent to 200 and, and don't forget that that's what we use for our scale so now the three centimeters on the diagram is equivalent to 200 millimeter that has been stated so if we need the angular velocity of length 3 then we use the radius to find the, what the velocity at this point so omega 3 on omega 2 should be equal to plus or minus 1 comma 2 2 or 2 comma 3 all on 1 comma 3 to 2,3. Now, 1,2 to 2,3, we measure this as 3 centimeters, and then they are saying we should use that as well, 200 millimeters. So, we measure 1,3 to 2,3. This is 1,3 and 2,3. If you measure that, I have 8 centimeters. So, I'm saying that ACM is what equivalent to what in terms of the scale they've done here. So, I'm going to have X to be equal to 8 on 3 times 200, and that will be. 8 on 3 times 200 that is 533.33 533.33 mm okay now i'll come here and i'll say that omega 3 is equal to what plus or minus 200 on 533.33 right right now times omega 2 Oh, let me let me put omega two here. Times omega two, eh? I mean, I've taken it here. So as to whether it's plus or minus, you know what to do. Two three, if it is between one two and one three, is negative. If it is outside one two one three, is positive. So this is two three. Where is one two one? Three? This is one two. One one two here. Okay, this is one two, and it's two three. And this is one three. This is two three. So two three is lie be between one two and what one three. So we use the negative one, right? So omega three will be equal to minus two hundred on five three three point three three times five, and that will be so two hundred on five three three point three three times five, and that is. Uh, so that is 1.875 rad per second so we know the angular velocity of length 3 so if the length 3 is rotating about joint 1 3 what is the linear velocity at point 4 3 so you come and measure from here to here and that is 7.5 so you use your scale again so any measurements you do over here, you use this scale to convert it to the equivalent condition that is stated. So 3 cm was equal to what, 200 mm. Then your 7.5 is equal to what? So x to be equal to, don't forget that I said the x is just a variable I'm using to find my own ohms. So 3 on 7.5 times 200. And that will be 3 um 7.5 times 200 that is 80 mm right oh sorry what is this? so wait i i will interchange the supposed to be 7.5 on 3 right so 7.5 on 3 times 200 and that is 500 so 500 mm okay so from here to here is 500 mm which is um using this um scale here so v at well it's at point four will be equal to the angular velocity four times the radius um from one comma three towards 3,4 right from here to here so the velocity at point 0.4 is going to be 1.875 times 
your 500 times 10 power of what negative 3. Why? Because this is millimeters. I want to convert that to meters. So 1.875 times 500 times 10 power of what negative 3. That is giving us 0 0.9375. So the sliding velocity of length 4 is equal to 0 0.9375. 375 meter per second. Thank you for watching.